In this video I'm showing how to create a new VLAN and assign ports to it on a Cisco switch. I'm logged into a Catalyst 2960 here, but the commands are pretty much identical across all models. A good way to start would be to determine which mode of VTP the switch is running. To do that, just run the command show VTP status. VTP stands for VLAN trunking protocol, but it's really more of a VLAN replication protocol. Typically what you'll have is one switch in the environment configured as a server and all of the other switches configured as clients. And in this setup, whenever you need to create a new VLAN, all you do is create it once on the server, and then it replicates out to all of the other client switches in the VTP domain. And even though this feature sounds convenient, it's recommended to not use it. The main reason being a vulnerability in how VTP functions. The way VTP keeps track of which VLAN database is the current one is by using these revision numbers. So what can happen is your network will be happily humming along and your switches will have all of the correct VLANs. And then if a switch with a higher revision number but possibly missing a whole bunch of VLANs comes online, that new VLAN database will replicate out to all of the other switches. So using this feature in the name of convenience can sort of unnecessarily expose you to outages. A lot of large environments just turn VTP off. To do that, jump into global config mode and type VTP mode off. To see what VLANs are already present on the switch, I'm going to go ahead and exit global config mode here and run the command show VLAN brief. The switch is pretty much blank, so it just has the built-in VLAN 1 plus 1002 through 5. And this output also shows which ports belong to a VLAN. And again, since the switch is blank, they're all just a part of VLAN 1. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a new VLAN. To do that, just jump into global config mode and then just type VLAN and then a number. I'll just use 3. And then I'll give it a name, desktops. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and create a couple more. VLAN 4, name printers. VLAN 5, name servers. And I'll go ahead and exit. Now if I say show VLAN brief again, we can see that the new VLANs we created are present. At this point, I'll go ahead and assign some ports to the new VLANs we just created. To do that, I'll just jump back into global config mode. And I'll pick a port at random, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 5. And let's just say that we have a printer connected to this port, so I'll put it on VLAN 4 using switch port access VLAN 4. Now I'll go on to the next port, interface FAO slash 6. And let's say that we have a server on this VLAN, so I'll just hit the up arrow a couple times and put it on VLAN 5. And rather than going port by port, I'll use the interface range command, selecting ports fast ethernet 0 slash 7 through 48. And we'll just make those desktop ports. Switch port access VLAN 3. All right, so now if I go ahead and exit and run show VLAN brief again, we can see port 5 here is on the printer VLAN, port 6 is on the server's VLAN, and ports 7 through 48 are on the desktop's VLAN. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to this video. Hit like if this was helpful, and thanks for watching.